Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! He's long been a committed Brexiter, first as a Tory backbencher, then later as Chief of Staff to the Brexit Secretary until David Davis resigned this summer. Now Stuart Jackson has been asked to apologise after leaving an offensive comment on the picture of a child being treated at Great Ormond Street Hospital. Anthony Hobley posted a photo of his bed-bound stepson wrapped in an EU flag on Twitter, saying the boy was gutted not to be able to attend the People's Vote March in London on Saturday. Responding, Mr Jackson simply commented, what a pathetic cretin. After an online backlash, Mr Jackson took down his comment and clarified that he was in fact talking about the child's stepfather. He said he found it awful for Mr Hobley to invade his stepson's privacy to make a political point. Well, I spoke to Anthony Hobley a little earlier and I began by asking him why he posted the picture of his son. To be honest, it was intended as a sweet gesture. Um, we've been planning for quite a long time to go to the march as a family. Um, and then we, we got this opportunity to have the operation uh, earlier than we thought on the Friday, and that sort of put the kiboshes on family plans. And I'd, I'd sort of tweeted it because I think he was disappointed not to be going with his, um, you know, rest of his family, um, to make him feel involved. And to be honest, for most, you know, most of the comments, most of the reaction, the vast majority was lovely. It was people mm -hmm. saying, well, she goes, well, shame he couldn't be there, et cetera, et cetera. But, there was a minority, and you kind of hope they're mostly fake accounts, not real people, that mm. quite, quite sort of mm. wasn't, wasn't very nice. And your reaction then when you saw this particular tweet using the words pathetic cretin? <sighs> I, I'm surprised and shocked. I mean, I didn't really under, fully understand who this guy was. Is it um, uh, Stuart Jackson, is that right? Former MP. I was a little bit surprised that someone in that position, you know, would say something like this, particularly when we've had you know, that there is a real issue, I think, around public debate mm. now and, you know, people making it very personal rather than about the issues and the subject matter. Did you think he was talking about your stepson when you saw that? Um, I, you know, I, I, it wasn't clear. Mm. I hope not. I mean, I hope it was about Well, he's me. since clarified saying that he was talking about you. Doesn't he have the right to call you a cretin? Um... We, we live, you know, I'm, I'm a believer in free speech, so people probably have the right to, within reason, if it doesn't incite, you know, um, violence or anything else, to say whatever they want. But again, someone in that position, and you know, we've had the whole issue with Joe Cox, we've had this week, we've had, you know, people making some pretty uh, scary, saying some pretty scary things about the Prime Minister. Clearly, I, I don't agree with what she's trying to do, but she shouldn't be subjected to that, neither should anybody else. Well, Stuart Jackson says that he particularly objects to you tweeting this picture because he thought that you were invading your child's privacy while he was in hospital and that you shouldn't be using your child to make a political point in this way. I was trying to do something to make him feel involved and that he didn't feel so left out with what the rest of us um, were doing. And I think, you know, the vast majority of people who responded, you know, saw it in that way. I mean, I think maybe this is a good opportunity for us all to reflect on the level of debate in this country and where it could lead if it continues to be uh, made personal. Um, the gentleman concerned, I'm, I'm not worried about getting an apology. But You're not worried about getting an apology? Personally, but it would be nice for my family and I think actually an apology, I think, would, would help people understand that this is not acceptable and really help to set, you know, what the tone of what is acceptable political debate in this country, which is not about playing the person, it's about playing the ball. And how's your stepson doing now? The most frustrating thing for him is going to be he's been strapped up for six weeks to let the, the collarbone fix uh, back in the right position. So that's going to be so frustrating for him. And he just wants to get back on, you know, he's, he's an amazing, you know, mountain biker. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Well, in a statement to us tonight, Stuart Jackson told us he stands by his comments, but he hopes Anthony Hobley's stepson is now on the mend. I'll be a